Hi friends in Sunday School at St. Paul and St. John. I'm Pastor Michaela and I'm going to start our Sunday School lesson with an opening prayer after we talk a little bit about what we're going to do today. Today you get to bake bread, which is super cool because Jesus tells us that he is the bread of life. Now what does that mean? Well, just like how bread helps us stay full when we're hungry and it keeps us going through the day, Jesus does that too. He gives us life and helps us share love and gives us strength to keep going through the day. So we are going to bake bread to share that Jesus is the bread of life for the world. Let's pray together and you can repeat the words after me. Dear God, dear God, thank you for, thank you for giving bread to us today. Giving bread to us today. Help us share, help us share food for those who are hungry. Food for those who are hungry. Thank you for Jesus, thank you for Jesus for being the bread of life, for being the bread of life. Amen. For this recipe, you will need one and a half cups of warm water, half tablespoon of salt, one packet of instant yeast, three and a quarter cups of flour, plastic wrap and parchment paper, cookie sheet or pizza stone, one cup of hot water, a metal or cast iron dish, and grape juice for you to enjoy with the bread. If you're using active dry yeast instead of instant yeast, you'll need to mix that ahead of time. Okay, let's get started. In a large bowl, mix the flour, salt, and yeast. Don't forget to ask for help if you need it. Pour it in and stir it till it comes together into a ball. Now add the water, or the water and yeast mixture if you chose to use the active dry yeast instead of instant yeast. Cover the bowl with plastic wrap. Let the dough rise at room temperature for two hours. Time for a break.
Now fold the dough in half, then in half again. Put the dough seam side down on the parchment and let it rise uncovered for 40 minutes. Preheat the oven to 450 degrees. When the dough is done rising, score the top of the bread three times. Put one cup of hot water in a metal or cast iron dish on the bottom oven rack. Remember not to use a glass dish. Bake for 25 to 28 minutes or until golden brown. When done baking, set the bread on a cooling rack to cool. That's it. Now grab something to drink and some of your favorite spreadables. Enjoy. Well, hello everyone. That sure was a fun exercise that we got to share together, being able to make bread together and hearing a bit of scripture too. Let's turn back to that passage in John chapter 6. Jesus said to them, I am the bread of life. Whoever comes to me will never be hungry and whoever believes in me will never be thirsty. How wonderful it is that we have a God, a God whose love is so great, so strong that Jesus, our Lord and Savior, came into this world to be that bread of life, to give us the energy and the courage that we need to be about caring for and loving one another in this world. And how wonderful it is that just like bread, our Lord rises up, drawing us into this relationship where we get the opportunity to be about the doing of God's good work in this world. And so we offer up this blessing. Lord God, thank you for being whom you are and whom you have created us to be. Lord God, bless the bread that we have made this day. Bless the opportunity that we get to be to grow into relationship with you. Lord God, may the bread that we have baked together be a symbol for us of how we together build up and grow up into your world, into a world of peace, hope, and care for one another. Amen. And let's also close with a word of prayer together, shall we? Lord God, we give you thanks for each wonderful day that we get to share, for each opportunity to grow and learn in all that you have provided. Lord, help us be good stewards of what you have granted us and help us daily grow in curiosity and wisdom so that we can be of the care for your creation and so that we may echo the love that you had first brought into this world. In your name we pray. Amen. Thanks for joining us, everybody. A special thank you to Pastor Jacob and Pastor Michaela for helping with our lesson today. And a very, very special thank you to the Pink family for opening their kitchen to us and for teaching us how to make this recipe for homemade bread. A great way for us to remember that Jesus is the bread of life is to use this recipe with your family at home for Holy Communion on Easter Sunday, the end of this week. I hope you have a blessed Holy Week and that you are enriched with many of God's blessings as we await for the resurrection of our Lord and Savior Jesus.